Hey guys, it's Philip here in African Rift Valley in Cheyenne Mountain Zoo. And we are here to celebrate International Vulture Awareness Day, or as we call it, IVAD. Now we have some special guests to help us celebrate IVAD. Right here with me, we have Godric and Hedwig, who are two of our African Cape vultures. And then we also have Nesher, who's up in the bushes, kind of far away right now. She's a little bit more of an adventurer. And she is a Eurasian griffin vulture. Now these three vultures are snacking on some delicious raw meat with some vitamins and minerals mixed in. And we also have some rats planned for them to get today. And that's because in the wild, they would feed on carcasses of animals. And that's one reason why a lot of people have given them a pretty bad rap because of their tendency to be seen around dead things. They are often associated with death and also with being unsanitary animals. But in reality, they're incredibly hygienic. And the message here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo that we like to convey is that instead of associating them with death, we like to associate them with recycling. Now that is because they're one of nature's best scavengers. Found all around the world, vultures help to break down carcasses of animals and also make a little bit of noise while they're doing it that other animals are not able to break down. And that is because they have pretty strong digestive systems that help them to digest bacteria and other things that would harm and even kill other animals and humans. Now you can also see on Godric and Hedwig here that they have nice, beautiful, bald heads. And that is a characteristic that many people know vultures for. That actually helps them to keep clean while they are feeding because it prevents any bacteria or blood from sticking to the feathers around their head. Now we also provide our vultures with the opportunity to bathe in water as well as in the sun. If you come to the zoo, you'll most likely see our vultures sitting on top of their perch with their nine foot wings outstretched wide in the sun using those UV rays to kill the bacteria that can be caught around their feathers. We'll also give them large tubs of water and they have access to the giraffe's watering hole at all times so that they can take their opportunity to take baths in the water, which is one thing that wild vultures are often seen doing as well. Now in Africa, they do face quite a few struggles. One of the biggest ones is poisoning because when poachers kill an animal, they leave behind a carcass because there's lots of the parts of the animal that they don't really want. The vultures head to that carcass and then the rangers are able to find out exactly where those poachers are. Now what the poachers have started to do is poison the carcass when they're done harvesting the bits that they need and in turn reducing the number of vultures that are circling the carcass and all this is really done has majorly impacted the vulture population in Africa. And this is actually a problem that happens all around the world as well. Now, Cheyenne Mountain Zoo does like to uh, chip in and help save the counterparts of Godric and Hedwig and Nesher here. And that is by the Quarters for Con Conservation program that we donate to Volpro each year. And Volpro is an organization in South Africa that helps to rescue and rehabilitate and release vultures who have been impacted by human animal conflict. Now, if vultures aren't able to be released, Volpro does give them a second chance of life in their breeding program to help make more beautiful baby vultures and raise that wild population as well. Now, all of our vultures here are very different from one another, just like every single animal at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo and around the world. For instance, Nesher is choosing to be a little adventurer right now over on the rocks. She'll hopefully join us in a little bit. But Brooke and I are going to tell you guys a little bit about the personalities and the differences between Godric, Hedwig, and Nesher. As I said before, we have three awesome vultures here at Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, all with vastly different personalities. So if you guys see a little bit of quarreling during this next meal, don't worry. It is something that vultures do here and in the wild, and it actually helps with their digestion when they're bumping into one another. Now, Brig is going to tell you a little bit about her favorite vulture named Nesher. <laughs> so Nesher is our Eurasian griffin vulture, and she's not present right now um, because she's very independent, and that is her personality. She doesn't care what the whole cool kid group is doing. She's doing whatever she wants to do. Um, she also is always very excited to eat. Um, she vocalizes a lot when we bring her food as we're walking up. She's always super excited to see us keepers, and I feel like that's why I identify with Nesher. I also get very excited when food's coming, and I also like to do my own thing. And she can be a little sassy sometimes. Now Hedwig is the other vulture that's joining us down here just past Godric. And Hedwig is 
we like to think one of our most observant vultures. She's pretty cautious whenever we give them new toys, and she always likes to make sure that Godric is the first one to explore it. <laughs> now, I definitely relate with Godric because sometimes I think he can be a little bit aloof with his thoughts, but he is always definitely trying, and it's the effort that counts. <laughs> If you guys have enjoyed this snack time with Godric, Hedwig, and Nesher today, and you feel like helping out their wild counterparts, make a visit to the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo because that in itself is conservation in action. Happy, Happy International, International Vulture Awareness, Awareness Day! Day!